can expect Team Indonesia to shut them down early on. And if Philippines don't hold their ground, they're going to be defeated so easily by Indonesia. Yep, but that's right. So I guess for Team Philippines, they really need, need to win the early game for this Lancelot to be activated early on for this game. But again, it's Team Indonesia versus Team Philippines. We've mentioned and discussed this earlier that uh, this uh, series is uh, really important for our teams for the winning situation for in order for them to go for the playoffs. Here again for the Fla for Flap TZ on his matchup. We mentioned earlier <laughs> that he is really going for <laughs> the skill. Oh, he steals it actually. And I guess for Indonesia, that's actually a delay for them. He goes in under the turret, guys. That What's was good? Was it be life? Yep, that's so smart. That was smart because technically he is invulnerable in a way. That was very nice timing of coming over on Flat TZ. Taking advantage of that. Uh, how do you say this? That, that was a buff on the Masha before when we are seeing just the. Uh, the regeneration of life from the Masha is just so easy. Now, Team Indonesia, unfortunately, they weren't able to read what Team Philippines wants to do in the early stages of the game. And Team Philippines are now leading by about 400. When it comes to AXP, they're leading by a lot. In fact, they're leading by uh, more than a Ooh. thousand. And with that kill, Team Philippines have cemented the fact that the early game is theirs. Oh, that's actually a nice rotation coming from Team Philippines. You can see them getting all the buff. We have Revo with that um, Violet buff together with the Lancelot. So uh, it is actually a delay for Team Indonesia right here. We know that Kari needs to be uh, really funneled for uh, Team Indonesia. So I guess they should actually defend or actually time those buffs for for them to be able to get all those but again another kill here for team philippines it's gonna be 2-0 for them nice rotation nice aggressiveness they have the pnk um i mean they have the pnk for their enemy team and then they're actually negating it early on for this game and uh, in the middle that's too deep and it's gonna be a kill for philippines here car tz now on level five as compared to the guy who has one death for team indonesia still at level four now you can see they want to go for more as they take them down the problem with bubble and koopa is that it's so weak when it's just level two or level three without the ultimate it's so easy to pick him apart now in comes the lancer car tz with the power play gets the esmeralda down just a number. That's uh, that's the carry trying to go for a kill, but with the outplays from both Kartizi as well as Lusty, they are able to run away, not punished by the carry at all. Philippines gets more out of the early game that they've already won. It's 5 0, three minutes in, and you cannot ask for a better start for Team Philippines now. Yep, actually for uh, Team Philippines, uh, this is a really good start. This is a uh, one hell of a gap in terms of gold. So like, I guess for Team Indonesia, all they need to do is to protect the carry or else it will be uh, difficult for them or hard for them to get this one. But here on the top lane, it's going to be three players. We have the flicker out for Rich Lion, but Lusty is there for the crowd control and secured kill by uh, Philippines against Indonesia 6. Zero is the score. Uh, no kill yet coming from Team Indonesia. Indonesia, I guess, they're having a, a hard time with this kind of aggressiveness. Uh, we have see, we are seeing from uh, Philippines. On to the bottom, though. The one go for Flat TZ, trying to burst him down. The control is there. Flat TZ kind of turns it around, and it's already job well done from himself because now. Carl TZ will be able to clean up. Oh, what a jump from Lusty. Catching two. Atlas on to the Lancelot. Will be able to punish him. But in the end, the trade-off is still bad for Indonesia as they will lose Siko. That is four for two Philippines. Securing that better trade-off. Although maybe the go only good thing about this is that Rebo and Lusty was the final ones to survive. But with that stun of the Rich Jaya, it's technically a wipeout from Team Philippines. 11 to 2 is the scoreline with a lot of gold in the back for the Filipino yeah. squad. We're actually liking uh, the gameplay of Philippines right now. They are ready for the backup whenever one player coming in. Highest level for Team Indonesia is 6. That's two Ooh. levels ahead. And I tell you, that is so massive because that's more than, that's actually equivalent to one extra item when you think about the damage output for 
the rest of the entire T of Philippines. And Carl Tizi is so confident that he will dive reach what? Gaia. There's the ball oh. the Fire Moon. What a timing from the Carl Tizi. He's not gonna be able to take this. Oh, Milagris. Don't poke the Lancelot. You can be taken out by Carl Tizi if you overstay and Team Philippines are able to get the turret up top. Nonetheless, for uh, Carl TZ, the damage is there. We can oh. see the three guys that appear coming in from the tires rage. Last inside for Hen. Not enough damage. Oh, for team Here comes the hog and the kill by few on the stands on the silence. Though we can see the aggressiveness really by Team Philippines. They are mad. They are so mad for this game. They need to win this game. It's going to be a killing spree for Lusty. And the zone out is just there for Philippines. While, while this is happening in the bottom lane, there's going to be a kill. Um, Cartesi is down, but then again, another play is down, and actually Rich Jai is down by for a team in Drisha. I just, I'm just guessing, um, a team Philippines said they really don't want this carry to get fat because they're just all over the place. Um, Cartesi, without the help of other players, just tries to kill any of the heroes that he is, he is seeing on the map. People landing that stun. And uh, many times his stunts were crucial, but Lusty's jumps though were crucial as well. Catches too, but the fatal link for the counter. He gives the falling stormer as well. Flap TZ in trouble, but he gets away. Still really healthy at this point. He's about to be chased down though by Team Indonesia, who says two of his HP bars. And Team Philippines will be running away with that, even with a, the very close call. When it comes to initiations, nobody died. But the immortality gonna be popped as Rebo lands Ooh. another stun onto hand. There's the trap. He survives. But while that happened, Philippines secured the turtle. Lusty with another bush jump. Now he will cancel it. How good was that? So many touch yeah. moments from Philippines with their Selena as well as their Kufra, Chantel. Yeah, you know, Wolf, I, I, I just uh, want to commend Rebo's abyssal arrows here and even the placement of his traps. Uh, just the slow effect is uh, um, making it, it difficult for uh, Indonesia onto the scale. You can see uh, the fatal licks, though, it catches too. We have the falling storm one. Plus, the last inside is though, here comes Lap Tizzy with the kill. Lusty is there for the crowd control. Double kill for the Masha of the Philippines. And see that just a single sword grows coming from this land so that and the Masha. Massive damage is really being shown here by Philippines against Indonesia. For Indonesia, though, the map control is really getting smaller. The map uh, for their map is uh, really getting small. For the carry, he's just relying for the minion waves here that's flowing onto their side. And again, another aggression here and a kill for Philippines. 73 for a score. This is really bad for Indonesia. Even Popol and Kupa, the Koopa, I mean. The wolf is not having a good time. In fact, Rebo is not not preserving his stuns. Now look at that. No more Firago armor. But just one pop. Now Kyle Tizi goes in. Takes on the Bobo and Koopa. Now they jump for more. They can get the Esmeralda and they will. Fatal ah! is number two. Lancelot is done as well as Masha. Very good shutdown coming up from Indonesia as they take out two cores from the overly aggressive Team Philippines side. And that's definitely a mistake from Team Philippines. Even if they were able to get two important kills against Team Indonesia, this is not the time to dive overly against their opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually uh, like the word uh, overly because uh, <laughs> that was dangerous for Philippines. Knowing that's that right. uh, this uh, team, uh, team Indonesia has a car for the GPS, we could see Reba actually for the map mission. Here he comes up liquor for the PNK, and they are not able to actually get Rebo of Team Philippines. For Team Indonesia though, we could see the light in terms of team fight. The fatal links of Seiko is just there. He gets, I guess, three or four players in terms of team fight. They just need this carry to go online, or maybe the X board with glowing one, or even the ice queen one. But then again, Lusty comes in for the job. The aggressiveness is just there. While this is happening, Philippines is taking the objective and Evo with the Probably damage. Summer. Massive oh, damage, guys. Oh, fatal links. Catches two. Shut down here. Rebo is down. Lusty is down. But here comes three players of Team Philippines. No, they're gonna back away. It's a, it's a difficult for them. Or it's catchy for them to just go in and go for a team fight. I'm actually surprised that Team Indonesia are able to get two kills. But I guess Team Philippines with their supports, Lusty and Rebo, technically speaking, are supports for the team, not the course of Philippines. 
They were happy to sacrifice themselves just so the cores will be able to get the Lord. And I think that's very important for the Philippines because they don't necessarily want a, a perfect record when it comes to kills and deaths. It's okay to sacrifice some kills for the bigger objective, which is definitely the Lord. Now, it's going to be a problem for uh, Indonesia to defend. Fortunately for them, Philippines is not yet ready to fight because the rest of the supports are still respawning and getting back into the fray. But this might be a different case now, Chantel. Yeah, but actually for uh, Team Philippines, they already have the super minion, minions here. Although for Flap TZ, I want to say that he's uh, one bit of a runner here for this game. He literally runs, mm -hmm. but uh, Indonesia doesn't, uh, is, isn't able to oh. kill him. But then again, if, here's going to be a team fight, guys. On the middle side, Immortality has been popped. Card TZ is on the middle lane, killing out Hen, which just oh. damaged, guys. But he did stop down to the third. He's down. Because he popped the sticker before walking. <laughs> That's unfortunately to his demise, another kill, double kill for Popol and Koopa as Philippines are getting ahead of themselves. They have lost so many heroes in the past few minutes and they weren't able to take down an inhibitor turret. They are not respecting Team Indonesia that much and that's something that Philippines should be uh, looking towards. Oh, carry with a nice secure on that orange buff. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, Chantel, though, the Team Philippines needs to respect Indonesia more because uh, the track record of Team Indonesia in this specific tournament is almost always about comebacks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Being able to come back from larger deficits than this one, right? So, yep. Philippines, they need to kind of chill a bit, maybe wait for the next Lord, not die unnecessarily against Indonesia, and close this game out. Yep, and uh, speaking of comebacks, guys, we know that Carrie is a good hero for the comeback. So I guess for your Team Philippines, they should be mindful of the errors. Or actually, the tower dives they're getting here for mm -hmm. Indonesia. Although Hen is down, guys, for uh, Team Indonesia. Speak of which, again, okay. another man down. We have Lab TZ here, the varsity of Team Philippines <laughs> with this Masha. <laughs> Oh, oh. he's down! He's down, guys! It'll make a kill for the carry. And this is kind of dreadful for Philippines. If this carry gets fat with a bloodless axe, oh. I guess it will be difficult for them to get rich. Child, fatal catches three. Catches three, guys. Lusty is almost down. We are low on life, but the missile arrow catches the carry, which stops or actually um, saves Lusty for the, t for the death. It's really Ooh. smart coming off from Rich Giant to actually commit the Falling Star Moon just to clear out the minion wave. That prompted Team Philippines to be quite out of position because they needed to dodge that Falling Star Moon, which was just targeted on the minion wave. And like we said, that fatal links from Rich Giant, from Shiko. Let's see. He did have yeah. to commit the flicker though. So he had to use that. Mm, that means the Team Philippines might feel more secure in the next team fight because there be safe for a minute against that flicker oh, into the fatal links uh, initiation but, coming out from the atlas yep but actually we saw earlier the, on the screen the itemization and actually the gold of carry he is he is now on the top in terms of gold so i guess for team philippines they need to decrease the errors here for this cave this is a carry yes. we're talking about for team philippines though they're just diving and diving against team edition but again it's gonna be a lot of team fight here we have the flicker out for a few let's see is on the side so lord has been taken here by team philippines but rebo is on but the hands of this carry a few is running for for his life, Flap TZ though, just taking MMR is just an over, but the people next catches two, two core heroes, but Core TZ there, Core TZ is there against Rich Saya, he has no skills, Can he has no, no skills, oh! Oh, it's a disaster now, the last remaining person for Philippines is Lusty, and he will be taken out soon, does have the, doesn't have any more uh, or immortality or any immortality in that manner so they will be wiped out fortunately for philippines carl tz was able to last hit the lord so that it will be underside and in fact hen will have to commit the last insanity just to take this one down know that the deficit for team philippines between team indonesia is now down to just six thousand and we were talking about this the comeback can be real for team indonesia we yeah. call a different team the Combat Kings, but with what Indonesia has been <laughs> doing.
doing? They in are. The past few days, they are the combat kings, at least for Razor Southeast Asia Invitational. Yeah, man, for your team Philippines, uh, I'm guessing uh, that the, this is uh, the second uh, wasted Lord objective. Actually, uh, for the first Lord, they went in for the dive even before the Lord comes in to support them just to go for the inhibitor turret. So, I guess for Philippines, they need to be mindful in terms of the team fight. Um, uh, for that last um, clash, though, I'm guessing uh, that. Team Philippines uh, targeting was a bit scattered. Uh, two players were were on this side of the map. The others are just here. So for uh, Team Indonesia, they have this uh, edge already because they're just relying on the car the carry. They just need to protect the carry, and that's it. That's already good for them. They have the PNK, and the longer this uh, game goes, this uh, PNK just really has the item in terms of. Um, being uh, sustainable uh, in longer in the team fight. So I guess for Team Indonesia, this is a light for them to turn things around because the longer this game goes, the, the more opportunity for them for this carry to go online or even this PNK to be the tanky hero that they want to. You can see that Team Philippines are kind of moving around the, the jungle area of Team Indonesia, which is good because they're kind of checking down or taking away some of the buffs from Team Indonesia. Bottom lane, the pressure from the Masha. And this is a, actually a problem for Indonesia. If Flap PZ places, uh, how do I say this, places cards right, he's going to be able to push easily. But Flap PZ instead went for high and dry. What we normally see from the Masha is the Mage Killer. But he went for Execute as well as the high and dry, which means that he kind of wants to focus on taking down his opponents instead of the usual like jungle, big, big minions or mm -hmm. things to the turret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I guess for Indonesia, this is a, a big opportunity for them to actually win this game. We've uh, seen uh, Team Philippines, I guess, for the 10 minute of this game, uh, which is uh, really up ahead uh, for uh, this game. And for the players of Indonesia, majority of, of them already has uh, the immortality. For Team Philippines, it's a bit scary for them knowing that they have the Selena, which goes for the burst. If the mm -hmm. missile arrow goes in and he dives for a kill, it is uh, hard for him to go outside yeah. that initiation that he has gone through. So uh, Indonesia. Uh, they just need to be patient. They have Seiko that is a really... Oh, what a steal! By Rebo, oh. that was the pistol uh, arrow actually getting that orange buff. Oh my goodness. That, that, that is the edge. That is crucial. We have the Lord here. Um, uh, Philippines is getting ready for that. And this carry doesn't have the orange buff. This is a problem now for Indonesia because this is Masha. Unless they get a miracle steal, it could be good. Now just jumping forward, there's a fatal link just on two flat PC. Drop over with a nice coming out from Team Indonesia's Bobbly Goopa. And they are able to take out that easy. Can they get more though? AOE damage from Philippines is actually hurting Indonesia, but with some micromanagement in there, they have taken out the Kufra. And now. Philippines, since they didn't have few in that fight, they didn't have extra tankiness, and Rich Jair finds Rebo, Ow! and they take him down. Top lane, there's Carl TZ, in comes the last insanity, gonna be punished this time. He runs away, Hen cannot reach him in time. So he gets away, now few jumping in the fray, this is 2v1, this strikes to be he was trying to micro out both of them, but unfortunately, Team Indonesia, they're wiser in this uh, specific clash and this yeah. means that few will not get the kill no more caught the inferno now he wants to Here fight come. he steps in a bad neighborhood and he's gonna be taken out for sure indonesia fight something out of nothing even if they lose the inhibitor top they have the chance to take the lord now yeah actually everyone's still alive for team indonesia to get this lord so that was an actually good backup coming from Siko of uh, team indonesia we've mentioned Siko's uh, uh, fatal links earlier really on point for philippines on the team fight um, Cartesi wasn't there. They opted to go for the inhibitor turret because they know that the damage for Indonesia is uh, already here for the carry. This is the Lord we are talking about. Rich Shia is out of position, but he goes in for Cartesi. Flap Tizi dives in. Why, oh God, the damage is there. Oh, no. He is down. Lord has been taken oh, no. by Ekborg. Just down oh, no. after 
Now, RTC is also down, guys. Three men down, three core heroes. Actually, for Team Philippines, if they want to go for a team fight, and they are down against Indonesia, who has just taken the Lord? MMR is just a number, says. Gold lead is just a number for us. Time and time again, we're seeing Team Indonesia mount these big comebacks. And they have almost, they have almost get gotten into the gold economy of Team Philippines just a little bit and they'll even it up. In fact, we can honestly say that they are leading by now when it comes to the momentum, to say the least. They still have to climb though. They don't have inhibitor up top. They need to still push. And the Team Philippines will definitely will not give this up. But man, what a what a potential comeback this is from Team Indonesia if they do secure this. Yes, it's and actually, um, you know what, Wolf, what's difficult here for Philippines it, is if they're facing um, a, a lineup that has the PNK, that has a lot of immortalities. If Cartes doesn't burst, burst out the years, or actually if he gets a kill, all of the fatalists guys. Wait, uh, full storm, guys. Flap TZ is just down. We have the inhibitor turned down for Team Philippines. We have six players actually, including the dog. For Anthony Shaw to this game, Car TZ almost low on life. The dog is just there. Milagrous kills. Few is gonna get a kill for Team Philippines. Rich Shia with an immortality. Car TZ is down, though. The Lord is just there. And for the oh. game, the 